Okay. Uh, here we go. Superman New Krypton Special. Okay, standard comic. Okay. Now, you, you, you read it. You, 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 you can put it on the wall, of course. Frame it and stuff or whatever, and, or in your, your slab, your CGC, CBS slab, your graded comic company slab, put it on the wall for show. But you, you can read it, but um, you read it. That's the main point. But what we also have is um, source material for two, well, probably more. But there's two things I know that you can do with it also. <laughs> um, the traditional one, earlier on, back in the 80s it started. And other cosplay could have started earlier, I don't know. But, but back in the 80s when they had DC Heroes. DC Heroes role-playing games, and generally role-playing games in general. That's a source book for a role-playing game adventure. If the Dungeon Master, the, the one who runs the game, the Games Master, runs the game and knows the story and the people don't know the story, if they don't know what happens in here, he can do his little gaming map or you can probably get some sort of map out of this this uh, this story and you, or however it works the role-playing game based on the comic you do the role play of a comic in a role-playing game you play the adventure of the comic so what that has and uh that has and Armageddon, the Alien Agenda number four, and practically every comic, apart from things like pinup galleries and who's who indexes and things like that, what every standard adventure of a story in a comic has is the basis of role playing, a role playing game, uh, a, an adventure in role playing. Use any comic as an adventure in role playing. You can do books as well, what am I saying? Especially fantasy books and things like that. But a comic is source material for a role-playing game. But also a cosplay adventure. When you get the, the team together in the suits, the outfits, the costumes, and you go off to a sort of a an oval or something, a showground around, or some suitable enough place where you do your cosplaying stuff, you do the cosplay of the comic as well. You can use it as the basis for getting up and doing a cosplay. And if you've got a decent enough cosplay going, well, well, you film the cosplay as well, obviously. So it's sort of like, if you can do a, a mini se a story arc from Batman or something, you film the cosplay for the, the story arc. And if it's a good one, if you've done a good cosplay, you've got, you've got a, a Batman movie there, haven't you? If you know what I mean. So that's what, what comics offer, apart from just reading. What well, comics offer, apart from just reading, few things you can get out of them.